Uh, usually I say this is Real Housewife from Real Housewives Drive Minivans. But I want you to forget about that tonight. This is Linda. And I want to tell you a story about a very special young man that I knew. Um, he was a great kid. He was kind, he was thoughtful, a very old soul. You would, you'd forget that he was a kid when you were talking to him sometimes. And, uh, just, just as calm and quiet and <laughs> settled as anybody could ever be, you know, at his age. And, uh, you know, teenager, 16 or so. And, um, anyway, uh, just a great kid. And my family and his family were friends. Um, his mother is, is a dear friend. We've been friends for more than 20 years, I guess, now. And, uh, anyway, this little boy was a cowboy through and through. He had the hat. He had the boots, he had the jeans, he rode the horses, he roped the calves in the rodeo, and he was a cowboy. And uh, his parents even went and bought him a rodeo so that he could have a rodeo. And he was ecstatic. And that rodeo was the greatest. But uh, anyway, he, um, he went to heaven at a young age. And uh, I reckon God needed another cowboy, another roper. And uh, anyway, he would have been 33 today. And I know he would have been a phenomenal young man. But I also know he's doing something great up in heaven right now, too. And I only say pecan now because that's the way he pronounced pecan. And uh, so now it's pecan. <laughs> But uh, I just want to celebrate Clay and say happy birthday. And uh, I know we're going to see you again. And to his family and friends, Kay and Lynn, Jason and Adam, and all of his aunts, uncles, um, all of his friends, let's remember him and let's celebrate him. He was special. He really was. And we were all fortunate to have known him. So, uh, happy birthday, Clay. You made a big impact on a lot of people. And we'll see you again. We'll see you again. Love you all.